Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider Man. Hey guys, KJ here. Uh, Spider for the TSC. Um, first of all, I got my bandage off, got my stitches out. Um, so I just got a couple scars on my fingers. Um, that was probably going to take a while to heal up, but um, got pretty much full range of motion back in my fingers. Um, got a little bit of soreness when I try to go this way, so I got to do a little bit of work to uh, get that stretch back out and. I really want to crack my knuckles, but it, it presses on these when I try to do that, so it hurts. So that's going to be a while before I can get some relief in these knuckles, but uh, really happy to have that, that gone. Um, so today uh, I'm going to do a uh, review of um, my second Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations. I got the uh, Amber and Tobacco uh, along with the Coconut Oud. Uh, I did a previous video on the Coconut Oud. And uh, we're going to try the uh, Amber and Tobacco. Um, Scent-wise, I immediately get the Amber. Um, and then as I go longer, what comes out is a spicy fla uh, scent. It's kind of a cinnamon, nutmeg, clovey kind of scent. It, it really reminds me of, uh, of Christmas and the holidays. Um, but it's not... It's not overpowering. It's it's not you don't think of Christmas like the first thing you smell. Like like I said, the amber is, is really uh, prevalent. Um, but there's a lot there's a lot going on in here that doesn't really come out. Um, I've got the scent notes to describe because there's so much going on. Um, warm central oriental amber enriched with bergamot and citrus. I don't get. I'm not getting any citrus hits out of this. Uh, Velvety Roses, Lily of the Valley, Balsam. Uh, I, I don't get any uh, floral notes necessarily. Uh, cedar, Rosewood, Sandalwood. <clears throat> uh, now I guess I could get some, some woody notes in the background there. Um, so maybe that's what's, what's playing there. And then it says, uh, with Cuban tobacco, wine, Spicy cinnamon, warm cloves, incense, and earth patchouli. Um, so I'm not even really getting any of the tobacco, which uh, for me is kind of a good thing. I'm not super huge on the tobacco scents, but for being amber and tobacco, for being what it's called, you would think that the tobacco would play a little bit more. Um, really, I'm just getting the amber, maybe some woodsy uh, back notes and, and the spices, but... Um, Everything else in there, I'm sure it's in there. It's just playing all together, and it, this is a really, really good scent. I really do like it. All right, so uh, again, we got my uh, my Paladin Jack O' Lantern. So if you haven't seen one of these brushes before, um, I don't know if it'll focus on that. So we got the Jack O' Lantern on the front. He's got the sides all marked up like a pumpkin, and then on the back, it's got the Paladin logo with the uh, little bat back there. So that was a cool little touch that Cody did when he etched these brushes. These were, this was a very limited edition. There was only a handful of these brushes made, like five or six, I think. Um, also, one of my biggest critiques um, with the, the soaps, well, actually two critiques I had uh, when I tried out the Coconut Oud was one, the, uh, the density of the soap. Uh, it's, it was actually more uh, of a cream than a soap. Um, if you could just push your finger straight through it um, and scoop it out and was uh, even more loose than a lot of creams that I use. Um, so I don't, I don't prefer that because it's harder to load. Also the small size of the container. Uh, I think I remedied that, um, both of those actually, by uh, letting this sit out overnight on the counter with the top off. Um, that dried it out a little bit, it didn't seem to affect the scent, uh, noticeably, um, and it dried it out a little, so it's firmed up. So now it's, it's more, more firm, more the consistency of a soap, uh, that I'm used to. So now I can be a bit more aggressive in loading and, uh, the small size of the container isn't as big of an issue. Obviously I would still like it to be a little bit bigger. Uh, so I could load, but I can really press into this uh, without worries of my brush sinking straight into 
uh, the cream and loading too much. So now it's loading pretty much like a normal soap. Um, so I think I can probably just dried up the initial top layer. Uh, so it may need to sit out a little bit longer, um, especially after I work uh, some of the top layers off. Um, but I'm able to load this uh, more the way I'm used to, uh, rather than the way I tried to load it last time, which I think maybe my review suffered a little bit last time just because I didn't, I maybe didn't have enough product because of the way I was trying to load it. Uh, so we'll see how this works. Um, so I've still got quite a bit of cream in there, so I'm just gonna scoop that out, transfer it to my face before I start lathering. The lather on the soap is really, really good. I've never had any problems with the lather. Nice and thick. It's building up in volume on top of my face as I load it. Keep using the same thing I've used in my last few videos is my uh, Micromatic open comb. Uh, the blade is really toned down after the first couple uses, and yesterday's shave was one of the best shaves I've had in quite a few weeks. The uh, single edge blades really are more efficient than double edge blades. Uh, I think it's because they're thicker, they're stiffer, so it acts more like a uh, straight razor as far as the interaction of the blade on your face. It doesn't have as much give. The soap is just plenty slick. Got a good cushion. Just had to stop and smell the soap. Uh, the uh, the scent strength is still really good uh, through the lather. Just trying to see if I get any more any more notes coming out in the lather than I didn't get off the puck. Um, definitely smells a little bit brighter. I don't know if maybe that's coming from the florals in it. I think maybe uh, maybe the sandalwood, maybe a tiny bit of the rose is uh, is coming through right now. Something has kicked up and uh, has kind of taken 
taken over or at least matched the amber. The amber isn't as prevalent. I'm not detecting the individual uh, spicy notes anymore. They're still there, but they, I don't, I can't pick them out. But it definitely has changed a little bit than just off of the puck. Um, and not changed in a bad way, just changed different. Like, it still smells like the like exact same soap, but the notes are just plain different, which is kind of cool. never watched one of these videos before well I don't know why you would start with mine but you see people when they shave making all sorts of funny faces moving their cheeks around and if you're not making funny faces when you shave you're not traditional wet shaving it just helps move the skin around and Make it tighter in areas so the blade doesn't catch. Gives you a flatter surface to shave against. And just make things easier. Looks funny, but... Oh, man. These single edge blades and this Micromatic is one efficient system. Like, I don't... There's really not much that I even need to touch up here. So on areas, on areas where I didn't um, go back and hit some water on my face, um, the residual slickness wasn't really there uh, for the soap. Uh, kind of dries up a little bit after the pass. Uh, there is still some soap there, so when I when I just go back and hit some water on it, it slickens up. So I guess depending on your definition of residual slickness, uh, for me it's that I can take off a pass and immediately go back to my face um, and do another touch up. Couldn't really do that here. But uh, there is still some soapy slickness, so if I just get a little bit of water and rehydrate it, um, then it's perfectly slick. Uh, my face is very slick right now, which is a little bit of water added. Uh, so I could do another whole pass right now. So if that's your definition of residual slickness, then that's, that's good for you. It's not exactly my definition. Um, and now, as I'm rinsing it off, um, it rinses straight off. And I'm not really feeling any uh, residual moisture uh, as I'm getting clean water and rinsing this lather off. Uh, you see my face is kind of sticky. Um, so that's just my face. Um, and all the oil's gone off my face, but there's not really a lot of... Uh, what I would call po post uh, shave moisturizing or any necessarily good post shave uh, just just for me I know some people have said that they do get good post shave from this uh, personally I don't so for me the biggest downfalls of the soap is uh, residual slickness and and post shave um, but other than that uh, it's really good soap um, I did mess up last time when I was testing this out so I'm gonna do that again and check the leather because uh, for some reason I had a uh, a big glob of water in the middle of my brush 
Uh, so when I pulled it out, I wasn't able to, to really fully evaluate this. Um, but the soap is really, it's really slick. So it's great during the shave. See, it's got some good thick leather. That's some good lather there. Um, nice and soft. Still smells really good. Um, so if you like the uh, warm, how I don't want to say earthy necessarily, but it kind of falls in that realm, but just a warm, spicy, earthy kind of um, scents, then definitely you, you want to try the uh, amber and tobacco. It's a really good scent. Um, I think I like it more than the, the coconut oud. Um, the coconut oud just tastes or smells like a uh, toasted coconut to me. I'm sure there's a lot of notes in the background that are playing, but uh, it just tastes like co toasted coconut, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I do like that scent. Um, I think I like it uh, better than just a regular coconut. Um, but definitely this uh, tobacco and amber, or amber and tobacco, is a really, really good scent. I guess if I stretch my imagination and kind of get a little bit of the wine uh, just out of that, uh, that grab with my nose. Um, all right, so that was uh, Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations. Um, not one of my favorite soaps, uh, just because residual slickness is like my number one. Um, uh, but other than that, the shave was great, the lather's great, um, so definitely something that you want to try out. And she's one of our vendors at uh, the Shaving Cadre, uh, so you definitely want to go out and, and support our vendors. Um, so if you haven't joined us yet on the Cadre, uh, come check us out, www.theshavingcadre.com. And I'm Spider, and uh, we'll see you on the forums. <laughs> How did I forget the aftershave? I don't know what's going on. I worried too much about the review and forgot the aftershave. So first thing to do, we have to follow up with some witch hazel. As soon as I shut off the camera, I realized my face was kind of drying out. So needed to apply some stuff. So then we're gonna finish up. Um, I think a really good scent to go along with the uh, amber and tobacco is going to be the Brandy Spice uh, from Clubman. One of uh, three new uh, scents from the Clubman line. And the uh, spicy notes from the amber and tobacco are just going to go really well with the... Uh, Spicy from the, the brandy spice. Uh, these don't last super long. The longevity is not super great on these aftershaves, but uh, the scent's pretty nice, so uh, I like them. All right, now I'm ready to sign off. We'll see you guys around the forum. Bye.